Life Audio. Welcome to the Crosswalk Devotional. We're glad to have you listening with us. Today's topic is about what makes relationships meaningful. We'll return with the devotional after a brief message from one of our sponsors. Miracles are everywhere. Let our adventure begin! Discover Pure Flix, your premium streaming service where faith and family values come home. Ready to have some fun? The most exclusive selection of quality, wholesome movies and series that will uplift your spirit. A man can argue whether God exists, but when he looks at his daughters, he knows. With new arrivals every week. Unbelievable. Save big and enjoy the possibilities, like invitations to exclusive theatrical screenings. I see it, so I believe it. Find out more by joining today at pureflix.com. It's time for Medicaid Open Enrollment in Delaware. From Wilmington to Bethany Beach, connections run deep in the first state. And AmeriHealth Caritas Delaware is dedicated to connecting you to care. To learn more, visit AmeriHealthCaritasDE.com or call 800-996-9969. Are Your Relationships Meaningful? By Aaron DeAnthony Brown. Read by Leah Martin. Iron sharpens iron, and one person sharpens another. Proverbs 27, 17. What is a meaningful relationship? There's a certain conversation that plays out week after week on Sunday mornings. One person says, hey, how are you? Good, the other responds, how are you? Good, the first answers, mirroring the second. This conversation probably sounds familiar. Most of us have either initiated or participated in such dialogue inside and outside of church. But on the subject of Sunday mornings, what's the likelihood that every single Sunday we're actually doing good? Of all the places to be dishonest, we pick the Lord's house. This brings us to an important question. Are our relationships meaningful? Don't be too quick to answer. If our relationships are meaningful, why do we just bestow the label of friend upon people we aren't even close to? Why do we even have superficial conversations at church, a place where we're called to be vulnerable. Much like the worldly culture surrounding us, the church has also lost sight of what constitutes meaningful relationships. Instead of calling someone an acquaintance, we say friend. Instead of communicating, when something bothers us, we keep quiet to avoid offending. Though these behaviors mark our present day, they're not indications of meaningful relationships, not according to biblical standards. The books of Psalms and Proverbs especially help us understand how to cultivate depth, even when someone isn't our friend. We learn how to communicate and how to handle conflict. We also receive admonishment to listen better, prioritize other people, make time for others, and ultimately, treat people the way we'd want to be treated. The lessons are there, we just have to heed them. After all, we go to church not just for the sermon, but for people. And not just to learn, but to put what we learn into practice. If we are to be one body, one family, one church, then we should treat each other accordingly. What better day to start than today? Intersecting Faith and Life The relationship dilemma at church, though widespread, isn't insurmountable. After identifying any problem, next comes the solution. In fact, here are five different ways we can add more depth to our interactions. One, pause. One reason we have superficial exchanges at church and elsewhere is because we're in a rush to our next destination. Instead of being in the moment with the person we're speaking to, we feign politeness and keep moving. But lying isn't polite. And if the person needed help, but didn't immediately know how to ask, who are we to pass them by? Take a moment. Pause. Be present. Two, listen. When you reflect over your day-to-day conversations, what's the ratio of you listening versus you talking? If we're being honest, many of us opt to talk instead of listen, but Scripture makes clear what should come first and more often. Be quick, not to speak, but to listen. Three, ask questions. A good way to practice speaking less and listening more is to ask questions. 
making inquiries of the other person helps them feel recognized, seen, and important, the same way we feel when people ask questions of us. Moreover, questions give them incentive to keep talking. 4. Initiate Do you wait around for people to ask you to hang out, or do you initiate? The answer is easy when we're considering an already established relationship. You likely answer differently, though, when thinking about those that you don't know that well. New relationships could be on your horizon, but you need effort to get there. 5. Appreciate Another way to make people feel special is to give thanks, not just for the obvious things like gifts or a ride to work. Thank people for spending time with you, for sharing secrets, and simply for being your friend. As Christians, we profess a Jesus kind of love. That kind of love makes time for others, listens intently, asks questions, initiates, and offers plenty of gratitude. Trade in what's superficial for what's real, and let's work toward perfecting the church through meaningful relationships today and every day. For further exploration of this topic, listen to the song Perfecting Church by Marvin Winans and the Perfected Praise Choir. You may also want to read Colossians 4.6, Proverbs 18.2, 1 Peter 4.8, and Proverbs 17:17. 17, 17. The Crosswalk Devotional is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com. Miracles are everywhere. Let our adventure begin! Discover Pure Flix, your premium streaming service where faith and family values come home. Ready to have some fun? The most exclusive selection of quality, wholesome movies and series that will uplift your spirit. A man can argue whether God exists, but when he looks at his daughters, he knows. With new arrivals every week. Unbelievable. Save big and enjoy the possibilities, like invitations to exclusive theatrical screenings. I see it, so I believe it. Find out more by joining today at pureflix.com. It's time for Medicaid Open Enrollment in Delaware. From Wilmington to Bethany Beach, connections run deep in the first state. And AmeriHealth Caritas Delaware is dedicated to connecting you to care. To learn more, visit AmeriHealthCaritasDE.com or call 800-996-9969.